Hi there, my friend and friends. A few weeks ago, I did a live stream where I took on CSS battle number 27. And since I was answering questions and chatting in between the challenges, the entire stream was over two hours long. So I've edited everything down and I've put a timer on the screen while I'm doing them because even within the challenges, I sort of cut out some of the umming and eyeing that I did along the way and cut out some larger chunks. So you can sort of keep track of how long I did for each challenge because I do not go for high scores with CSS battle. I just try and solve them at a 100% match as fast as possible. Definitely there was more efficient methods that I could have used along the way for a couple of these, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And I hope you enjoy watching me get through these and sort of stumble my way through a couple of them. So here's my timer. We're gonna hit start. Let's see how long it takes. Um, so first, easy wins all the time. Let's just go in with a background of uh, that color on. I do this all the time where I, forgot, I forget to put selectors. Uh, when I'm doing these challenges. So that's never a good thing. When you have time limits that you're setting on yourself, it's easy uh, to make mistakes. Uh, that's too big, but then we'll just do a display grid. Hopefully this doesn't muck me up because uh, then we can do a place uh, items of center. And I don't think, yeah, you don't need heights and widths on stuff. Um, 40, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Uh, div, or not them, um, Emmet. Div class is outer A. That's fine. Close div. Uh, and we'll do outer A like that. So people are, I see the chat moving out of the corner of my eye and people are probably like, why is he doing it that way? But, uh, outer, um, let's just give this a width of 400 pixels, height of 200 pixels. Um, oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Position, position, absolute. So it's out of the flow. Uh, this will get position relative. So, oh, I might have to muck around anyway. Anyway, position relative, just so it's inside, so it's already in the center. Mm, I might not need to do that, but whatever. There we go. Um, and then a border border radius of 100 VW. Oh, that's not gonna work. I need to do it in pixels, because we need an oval. Uh, if I do 200 pixels, 500 pixels, oh, percentage, has to be percentage. Ah, there we go. Uh, we're close, but we're too high. 80. And not wide enough. 220. 230? Oh. If you hold shift, you go up and down, so that's okay. And this is maybe 85. And there's a diff that we can turn on. I'm a little bit off. 90? I should make mine a different color, actually, just so I can see <laughs> when I switch. Oh, we nailed it. Okay, it was 90. Perfect. Um which will just get a border color of that. And then why do we not have an outer B? Oh, because I didn't make one. That would help, right? Uh, B and C. B and C. Uh, <laughs> we'll just do a D. <laughs> um, so the outer is useless now, but that's okay. Uh, border color and then rotate 45 degrees. Why I must have misspelled the other thing. Uh, 60 degrees. Perfect. And that means my dot D gets a border color. Ah, we got it. This one wasn't hard, um, but it's we're going to have to change the order of stuff too, I guess. Uh, border color and then rotate, I'm guessing, is a negative 60 degrees. 99.7. Uh, I'm taking that. Oh, 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 whoops. Uh, Z index, Z index of 100. I wish it would check faster. 100%. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, 535, 530, somewhere around there. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I was really mad there for a second because sometimes you're off by like that 0.1%, um, but it looked good. Okay. Perfect. Let's get started with it. We're going to hit start and we're going to delete our styling on there. Uh, let's try doing that thing. I mentioned um, we're going to do a div B. Okay. We have to copy paste here because it's going to go faster. That will be a C and that will be, whoops, that will be a D. Let's box uh, shadow. <laughs> I, I'm going to get confused uh, if I do it with gradients. Let's try a shadow. Uh, inset, 10 pixels, solid, a solid box shadow, 10. 
sorry, zero, 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 10 pixels, and this color. I just want to see what happens. Perfect. Uh, the only problem is I think my first shadow would have to be the dark color. <laughs> um, so let's just, yeah, I think this would probably be faster if you did it or less characters. There's probably a really smart way to do this. Um, this one will be this color, comma, and then this one would be 20. So my numbers are wrong. So let's just try 20 and 40. I just want my line thickness, which I think my line thickness is good. So if I did that, I don't know, Mark in the chat had said he did this in 100 and something characters. This is not how you do it in 100 and something characters. <laughs> A120. That would probably be enough. And then we can take my A and I did an attribute selector and just do a transform or not even a transform, a translate of negative 50, negative 50. Does that look, oh, it's not in the right spot. Uh, I don't want a pixel and I have my, my gradients not, uh, maybe I need one more gradient in there, but why is it not lining up? That sucks. Uh, 130, 140. Okay, so I'm just missing. I, this is going to work at least. I'm happy about that, but I'm curious to know what um, better methods there were. 140 can be that color. Shouldn't I be getting? That's this color. Oh no, I need it. Oh. Okay, we'll copy both of those. 140, 160. And then this one needs the semicolon. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that works. And then I just have to position. Okay. So yeah, that one's in the right spot. So B can get turned on. B is where I thought it would actually be. C can come in with this, but then we do a positive value for both. Perfect. Okay. So it did work. My idea did work. I just needed the absolute positioning on there. Um, and then the same translate, but this one is negative and this one is positive. And now I can hit submit. That one took me longer than the last one. Oh no, that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I got it though. hundred percent match. Um, but definitely not low on characters. <laughs> you probably could have done this as a single gradient on the body, uh, would be my guess. Um, as one way to do it, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> uh, so here we go for this one, three, two, one, let's hit start. Um, so we'll just do a body body has the background of that color. Um, is that the same color as this? No, it's slightly different. Uh, do I need to do, I think I need to do this with three divs, right? Uh, body select all the children grid grid area of stack they'll all be on top of each other oh and they're centered too I didn't think they would be uh, the height uh, the heights can be different for each one though 100 oh just thought of something though okay we'll just uh, oh actually can I go on the body and just set a height here height 100 pixels oh I can do that perfect <laughs> And then margin top of auto, is that going to work? Mm -hmm. Margin bottom of zero. Didn't, I was hoping that would actually move it all the way down. Uh, negative 100. This is, please never, ever, ever do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, I just want to line it up. <laughs> this isn't the right way to do it. but it looks like it's lined up. So I'm going to take that. Uh, never ever do this, please. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, but see, I've already made a mistake because I'm doing these with widths and heights and we have to do all of this with a border. I'm going to do this just with my A for now. Why is my A there? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, one second, uh, Position absolute. We're going to use absolute. It's going to be easier for me to figure out where things are. Her bottom is going to be that color. Uh, border bottom color. Perfect. Uh, except it'd be this one or whatever. That's on all of them. Um, so it gives me a triangle and then we can play with the sizes. Obviously this is going to have to be bigger, closer. 
Um, if I'm using that, I can probably, I don't need these anymore. I'm using absolute positioning. I'm just gonna, one second. Border bottom will be 200 pixels, uh, this color, solid this color. Okay, so I'm doing the wrong one. So this would still be 100. Actually the height, oh, my height is good. It's the width that's wrong. So my border left width, is that right? 200, let's just say 200 pixels. Aha, it is, okay. And then my border right, uh, right width is 150, maybe. Um, Why is it that shape? Left, oh, right. Okay, they all need to have that. So I can bring those, oh no, they don't. This is the one where it's just border bottom color we could do, right? Okay. Um, so we'll copy that. This will have a Z index of 50 and we'll just do the next one down, which is this one. Uh, whoops, copy that. And then this just becomes like 150, you know? Oh no, that was the one that stays the same. Darn it. <laughs> that can come off of here and that one goes there. Um, so then my, oh, and this should be a B, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, and then my border, border bottom width is 150 pixels. There we go. It's a little too much, right? Yeah. We got there. Perfect. And then I can copy that one, paste it. Whoops. Probably would have made sense to go the other order um, to save on characters, because then I wouldn't have to worry about my Z index, but whatever. Uh, so this one's probably like a 160, and then it has this color, 180. Oh, my widths are wrong. I thought my widths were okay. Okay, uh, 125. Can you do multiple? There we go, that looks better. Hit submit, seven minutes. Each one has gotten like a little bit longer than the last one. At least we got there though. <laughs> so reset my timer, bring the timer in. This is the one that I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna complete. So I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna fail miserably. <laughs> Can I give this width? 100% aspect ratio of one, if I do it on the body. Ooh, look how ugly that looks though. Anyway, well, we're gonna try mucking around with this. Maybe I can't do it on the body, but I just wanna sort of get the first stages of it done. Um, so, or you know what would be easier? No, I'm gonna do a different thing here. Take that off, take that off, take that off. I don't even know if I need that anymore. We're gonna go on that div. This would probably be a lot easier now that I think of it. Uh, now we can change the color away from red back to this and then I can just do a box shadow, right? Box shadow, 10, uh, zero, zero, 10 pixels, 20, 20 pixels, that color, uh, zero. No, 10 was right. Um, so the size, you can go back to the actual correct color in the middle. Um, and then my box shadow, that's one box shadow. Then we just take another box shadow. Uh, one second. So we're gonna have two, that's one, two, three, four, five shadows. And 90, and that's too big. 30, 40, 40, 50, 60. And then this one can be 70. Perfect. At least we got that in place. That looks good. <laughs> I feel like submitting now and just taking my score, at like whatever, that's, that, that'd give me like a 70%, right? I'm gonna call it T for triangle and it'd be triangle um, Z or it'll do X. We'll have X, X, Y, um, just cause I can't do it in A. <laughs> and you can't use numbers, I don't think. So maybe you could, I don't know, uh, triangle. So let's see if I know how to, I don't know how to do clip paths. Um, background, uh, width 150 pixels, height 
150 pixels um, position absolute so it doesn't shift anything. Um, top 25 pixels. Both this is going to work. I'm really bad with clip paths, so this might be really painful. <laughs> and I don't even know if this is the right solution. Uh, so we start at 0, 0. Let's just go like 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and then do a just so I just want proof. Oh, I already forgot something. Polygon, uh, polygon, and then wrap all of that. And just to make it a bit easier to read, is it? I have spell check, no E in polygon. See, I already, or do I need to put pixels here? I don't think so though, do I? No, I didn't think so. Um, oh wait, should I just, yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Zero and then I'll just do another, uh, not a zero there. Let's do 50 and a zero here. I just want to see. Okay, that sort of makes sense. So if I did, this one's going to go 100%, just for now, 100% over. And then this one will be 100% down. Oh no, whoops. <laughs> Let's just, I'll put 50 pixels here and put 100 here, 100%. If I do 50%, it might be okay actually. Um, so 50%, there's, we, there we go. We figured out how to do a triangle with a clip path. Um, <laughs> my sizing is slightly off somehow because that 50% you think would be lining up better. <laughs> so my height, I'm actually worried that my, t I'm going to change stuff here a little bit really fast. Um, cause there's a margin on the body by default. No, that didn't change anything. Okay. My top is off a little bit. I see it shifting now though. Yeah, there we go. Now, when we get to this point <laughs> is where I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> if I get to that point, now we wanna move and add another stop here. So, yeah, cause this is my point right there. So after that, we're gonna stay at 100. I don't know, maybe we won't, what if we did Calc 100% minus 10 pixels, 50%. And then, is this going to work? Oh, we have to close my calc. <laughs> we need to come back up to this corner, which would be if I just did 10 pixels, 10 pixels. I just broke the entire thing. What? polygon. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, comma. Uh, no, the 50% goes here. Okay. See, there we go. There we go. We have something coming together. Now my, my sizing is wrong, but that's okay. And what if I did that at 15 and 15? See, this is where I'm going to magic number it, but I'm sure if you know how to make a triangle, <laughs> you wouldn't have to. So now we want to go down to over here. So that's the next point after this. We want to go all the way down. And so we're going to stick at our 10 pixels and then we'll do another calc of 100% minus, for some reason, 15 worked before, comma. Uh, we need two values. Um, this is my, oh no, yeah, that's good, comma. Perfect, it's coming together. Okay, and then from this point, we need to go all the way back that way. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> so I have the T, X. Then we're gonna do a T, Y. I don't feel stuck right now. I just don't know if this is the, the right solution. So if I just do a Y um, and do rotate 90 degrees, uh, 180 degrees, you have to do a full rotation, uh, and then a left a uh, right of 45 pixels and a left of auto div z i don't know if i have to close that div z that we can just fill in that space uh that makes it easier to center uh so this would be like a 50 and a 50 or let's even make the height 20. oh can we can we do this without even having to muck around. Okay, I'm gonna hit submit. <laughs> it's not gonna be 100% though. 
What's my time? 15 minutes. Okay, I'm taking it. 19.9. 16 minutes. I, I did it. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get there. Just because normally with clip paths, I, I fall all over myself. So I'm pretty pretty happy I got that to work. The problem I still have with clip paths is like when I want to change that and just figuring out where I'm going um, can be really, really hard. The 100% the minus things is definitely useful. I'm really happy that worked because if that didn't work, I'm not sure what I would have done. I thought it'd be harder to fill in that middle bit. Um, but yeah, I'll take a 99.9%. .9%. For people saying clip path looks hard to use, just use Clippy. <laughs> now, if you enjoyed that, I've done a bunch of CSS battles here on my channel. You can see the full playlist right here. Or if you just like to watch me battle Kyle of Web Dev Simplified, that video is right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, I would like to thank my enablers of awesome, Andrew, Simon, Tim, and Johnny, as well as all of my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.